audacity. Sometimes you wonder where people get it from. Some people are so undeserved of the amount of audacity they have. Your captors are an example of this. Who do they think they are? Do they think they could steal my wife away from me? My wonderful little blossom? The light of the light tower that guides me through the ocean? My beautiful butterfly? They took you from me to get to me. They hit below the belt, as I would like to call it. They want to play it unfair. They can get it unfair. Because once I get my hands on them, there's no more game to play. Don't worry, my sweet. I will come for you. And I will bring you back home. Wait for me, my love. I'm there sooner than you think. I don't know, man. We haven't heard anything from that bitch yet. Yeah, she must not be looking for her wife that much. I thought she'd have more urgency with this matter. I mean, have you seen how she always gushes about her wife? That it's the love of her life that she'd do anything for her. Exactly. Then why is she not here yet? Not that she'd have a fair chance. Let's be very honest. We have so much muscle walking around here. Not a chance that she'll reach this room without getting caught. Oh, you're right. It's only a matter of time. I can't wait for the show. All right, I'll talk to you later. How you doing, sweetheart? Still sitting pretty on that thing of yours? <laughs> so feisty. We don't get them like that often. Your threats don't faze me one bit, sweetie. I'll call you whatever you want. You've just got to do something about it. You just got to stand up from that chair. You can't. Then I guess you'll just have to sit there and take it. At least until that useless wife of yours shows up. Oh, come on now, sweetheart. Two whole days. To save her beloved wife? <laughs> you must not be her top priority if it takes her that long. Who knows what she's actually doing? I'm not doing anything. It's just food for thought. <laughs> All right, enough yapping. All right, sweetheart, open up. You've got to hydrate. The boss gave me explicit orders that you weren't gonna die on us. So drink the water. If you won't drink by yourself, I'll force you to. I can't believe we've been having this fight ever since you got here. I don't think your dear beloved wife would like to find you all dehydrated. So what's it gonna be? Good. Are you hungry by any chance? No, not at all. Not even a little peckish. All right, all right. God, I didn't know a lady like you could use so many foul words in one sentence. Your wife is going to take all of us out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, we'll see about that. I'd like to see some action. Well, action is what you found, my guy. <laughs> Twelve down. Where are those all your men? Fuck you, bitch. I asked you a question. I heard you. 
and answer it. Wordos, all your men. Yes, yes. Good, thank you. My love. Oh my god, you're okay. I was so worried. Did they hurt you in any way? Good. Otherwise we'd have different problems. Let me get those restraints for you. Oh, baby girl, your wrists. Those filthy animals. I'm so sorry, my darling. I should have gone here sooner. No, it's not okay. I filled you. But I had no choice. Can you stand? We have to get out of here. Easy, doll. Take it easy. Yeah, you're okay? Good, let's go then. I had to be very careful with my actions. I know they were expecting me. I just... I could not just run in and get you. If I would have done that, they would have surely grabbed me. Or worse, killed me. I don't even want to think about what would have happened if they killed me. I'm talking about you, darling. What they would have done to you. Luckily, that's not a possibility anymore. Kidnapping my wife, what were they thinking? That is so low, even for them. I would never resort to such methods to get my point across. From now on, I will do more to protect you, my love. This will not happen again, I promise you that much. I know I've broken a lot of promises, but this is one I will keep. Even if it pulls me under in the process. My love. The light of my life. There is no arguing about this. They have shown what they are capable of. They will surely do it again if they get a chance to. And they will not be as kind and caring as they were now. They fed you, right? Made sure you were nice and warm. Uncomfortable with that, but not in pain. Exactly my point. Next time they will cut off body parts to send them to me. I have seen what they are capable of, my dear. Watch your step here. Cars close by. I will bring you to the medic first, to make sure that you are alright. Then after that we'll go home. I'll help you bathe in a cozy warm bath. Then I'll put you to rest in bed. The sheets are fresh. I have already prepped a meal for you. I will care for you, darling. I will pamper you and care for you the way you deserve to be cared for. No need to thank me, darling. It's the least I can do. I should apologize above all else. I'm, I'm sorry this happened to you, darling. You didn't deserve this. I failed as your wife. No, it's not alright, baby girl. I want to make this up to you, alright? Good. I love you. Let's go home. <laughs>